fighter taking on all comers Arsenal face their latest challenger it's Everton's turn to have a go Thomas Gravison is the uh, new name at the heart of the Everton defence 
Joseph Yobo back to Richard Wright. Gravison pitched forward towards Radzinski on by Siegel. Hembridge. Almost got away from Weir. David Seaman was hoping for an afternoon without too many comedians and clevichins making life even more uncomfortable for him. He wouldn't have chosen Merseyside to make his reappearance. Campbell was penalised there. Gravison and Pembridge fancied their chances. It's Thomas Gravison, it's well struck and well held by the safe hands. Of England's current number one. Yobo's header. And Gilberto down by Toure to Canu. Twice in the opening ten minutes of Arsenal's last match against Sunderland. Toure, Toure with space, but held up by Weir. Making it difficult for Campbell, Kevin and Sol. Toure unable to control. Unsworth getting Radzinski on his way. Sol Campbell across. Maybe feels that all the attention on Seaman took some away from the mistake that he made. Leading to the second Macedonia goal. And that is international history now. going wrong for Arsenal at the club level. To Lauren it was who was fouled by Unsworth. team than Arsenal at present. The scalp of Lee Carsley unable to force a corner. Just past his sixth anniversary in charge, coming up to his 53rd birthday on Tuesday, Arsene Wenger. Already a year of facts and feats. Track to everything that Seaman does today. He does have the sun in his eyes during this first half. Yeah, we're winning the ball fairly. Gilberto looking to get Henri on his way. If it's clearance. to the England under-21 squad for last week's games, but had to withdraw because of a hamstring problem. Vieira gets it back from Henri. Canu had made a good run, but Vieira rather lost his bearings and then lost the ball to Gravison. And here's Radzinski looking to stretch Seagull. Who is straight, and has played it back towards Radzinski and winningly, and Campbell had to help him out. Throw, but Campbell's cover critical. Radzinski was riddling clear of Pascal Sigon.
Brzezinski. Arsenal have not been allowed to settle, but Harrison wanted too much time. Picked by Gilberto, this is Cano, attempted by Hibbert, lustily. Lauren. Clearance by Weir is only as far as Gilberto. David Weir will get a second chance. It's all a little bit close, Lee Tier playing. Thomas Gravison into trouble. Warren has managed to dig it out for Canu. Keeping his head. Seagull's header. Henri, was aware that Yobo was coming. It's a low one to allow Thierry Henri open ground to run into. And cross towards Cano. Slip was by Weir. Recovery by Unsworth. Might still come for Toure. Good tackle by Lee Thierry. Jungberg. Arsenal in front. Another day. Another Arsenal goal. The scoring record runs and runs, and the results just follow. The Arsenal goal scorer, the boys. Opportunism of Freddie Youngberg. Everton had opportunities to clear. Toure it was who kept the move alive. It came off Lee Tier and ran very kindly for Youngberg. His first Premiership goal of the season. And once again, Arsenal strike early within eight minutes of the kickoff. Campbell outnumbered. Vieira clear. Gravis. Campbell's little flick, Brzezinski's there, so is Sol Campbell. Mark Pembridge keeping the move alive by David Unsworth. Ashley Cole's header. Thomas Gravison. Dispossessed by Cano, Gravison a heap on the floor, but Uri Rennie was very close. Henri, who set up the goal from this position. Cano with the overlapping run. Ghosting between two defenders. Lovely change of direction and pace from Thierry Henry. Arsenal had their last Premiership game against Sunderland almost well inside ten minutes, and they're looking for a quick kill again here. This from Vieira. with a low cross, away by Pascal Siegel. Pembridge, saw Campbell at the... And they would have cleared, Kevin Campbell and there with a profit, actually curled to the rescue. Cross bypass the two Campbells. It was upon Cole very quickly, he had to react speedily. and Yobo are in the mix. Pembridge to deliver. Seaman lost it, and somehow the ricochet favoured it, although a free kick has been given in Arsenal's favour. Well, reputations are hard-earned and easily lost. David Seaman was crowded there, he was flailing. Uriah Rennie felt that he was foul. to be edgy moments for Seaman today. Yogo 
Thiago's header. Seagon Corkman on the side of the head. Worth. Seen off by Lauren. Canu getting it back from Gilberto. Lauren overlapping. Runs with the way. Mm -hmm. The defenders certainly trusting their goalkeeper's composure. Down to Gilberto, combination that is becoming. Henri into the path of Toure. It's Canu wide of him. Lauren in support. Henri to Youngberg, just a little too intricate. Vieira though, ready to get back for Arsenal. A lot of switching and variety in the Arsenal movement. Strikers pulling wide, midfield players coming from wide, as Youngberg did for the goal. Hibbert towards Campbell. Seagon felt he was fouled. Vieira. A somewhat tidy start, the Arsenal skipper. goal for Everton concede and is there a team that you least want to be a goal down to than Arsenal at the moment so deadly on the counter Everton have got to make the game now and chase it Vieira playing Campbell into trouble beats here to Kevin Campbell just a little hesitant Waiting for the right outlet, Pembridge providing it. Unsworth on the overlap, Ratinski was there, it came off Gilberto, it is a corner. Important intervention by the Brazilian, painful intervention. Good combination between Pembridge and Unsworth on the Everton left. And Ratinski was loitering with intent behind Gilberto. Arsenal midfield player with an injury, with Pires and Van Bronckhorst ready to resume. Gravison's corner, Seaman with the fist, not a very convincing fist. Safe hands, all a tremble. Punched up rather than away. Penbridge with a long throw. Came off Saul Campbell, jammed away by Lauren. Henri will have to go to loan for now. Not sure anybody can catch up with him. Cano's long strides have got him in the vicinity, but Henri was hopelessly outnumbered. One back by Radzinski. No doubt that David Moyes has got this Everton team on the front foot. They're a team that try to affect games, try to make things happen. There have been a lot of goals at either end in Everton matches since he took over. <laughs> Seagull's pass just reaching Campbell. Teased Radzinski. Youngberg unable to make the contact he wished. Hibbert looking over Seagull. Ratzinski trying to get in behind him. 
There is support here for Radzinski. Jabbed into Campbell. Saul Campbell got a foot on the ball. Kevin Campbell goes down. Arsenal survive the penalty shout. Pembridge back in towards Kevin Campbell again. Saul Campbell is the winner. Leitier wins it back momentarily. Cole only as far as Thomas Gravison. Away by Seagull. Now Carsley. That's a great cross. Kevin Campbell didn't gamble up on it. And David Seaman gathered it. And here come Arsenal on the counter. With Toure looking to get beyond Pembridge from Canu's pass. Aubrey is waiting in the centre. Yobo clear. Canu. Youngberg. One end of the field to the other in the blink of an eye. Cano looking for Henri. We are away. More unfortunate to get the ball. Toure offside. his cross, away by Campbell, sharp interchange through the Everton midfield. Youngberg's back heel, only four lead here. Vieira. Canu. Henri. Stepping away from Weir, just losing his balance, he has got a free kick. Wenger has said in the last few days he thinks that Henri will get better and better. Ominous. Takes the free kick himself. And waits it. He is only 25 years of age. His manager says that 25 to 30 is the golden age for a striker. He is a golden striker. Touré. 
Moran was making the overlapping run. He's now out of position. Rosinski was held by Saul Campbell. Quickly taken. Thomas Graveson. Everything's to his right here. Carsley's in acres of space. And here is Lee Carsley now. Oh, hit the post and came out. Rosinski. and found the space to fire home and no more than Everton have deserved a man bought to replace Francis Jeffers last year has equalised against Arsenal Zinski's there again. So Campbell crashes into him. Referee says six and one and a half dozen the other. Vieira given away, not for the first time. 23 beautifully by Hibbert. But Saul Campbell denies Kevin Campbell. The second goal time this afternoon at 21 minutes, Henry. 29 seconds. Cole is forward in this attack. Carsey has goal to go time. scampering back. This is Ash Cole. Held up by Hibbert, dispossessed by Hibbert, cleared by Carsley. Campbell, Vieira. Lauren. Skillfully done. Canoe. Jungberger's made the run on, Weir came between them, Yobo took a chance but got away with it. Cool head from the young defender, through the legs of Vieira from Radzinski. Arsenal captain would have enjoyed that. Lee Tier, Hibbert. Looking to take on Cole on the outside, he's done really well here, Hibbert. Better away by Gilberto. Bold run by 21-year-old Tony Hibbert. Past 21-year-old Ashley Cole, let's not forget his age. He's been an established international for 18 months now. Unsworth with a deep cross. Cole has to intervene again. Everton throw. Real belief about Everton. Studied words between David Moyes and his assistant Alan Irvin, but it's pretty frantic out in the middle and on the terraces. Lee Tier, Kevin Campbell. Chinese international had gone on and he's just offside. The flag was late. Assistant on the uh, near side took a, a long, hard look before making his decision, but Lee Tier got stranded because the first pass didn't reach him.
Cambridge takes. Well held by Seaman under his crossbar under pressure from Kevin Campbell. Well, they say the goalkeepers enjoy being part of the action. David Seaman certainly is that. down here for a moment. Just haven't been given a moment. Everton have been at and around Arsenal from the outset. They weren't disheartened by the loss of the goal very heartened by the equalising goal. No flag. Thomas Gramerson this time behind Lauren. Mitchell's on the overlap. That's made the space for Gramerson to cross. Well claimed again by Seaman. Early forward towards Henri. We are deals with it. Enthusiasm in the Everton challenges. Henry has Vieira for company. Just towards the head of Vieira. It's away by Joseph Yovo, back in by Gilberto, away by Gravis. Radzinski losing out to Cole. Henry. make a save. Cool, cool customer. He wasn't going to be rushed. Shuffled one way and then the other in order to make that shooting space. Came from behind defenders and Richard Wright just fended it off. Henri with the corner. considerable pressure who headed over his uh, shirt was being pulled but seems to be uh, all part and parcel of the penalty area action Everton have gone long here down the channels towards Campbell and Radzinski it's been a variety though about their attacking play about their challenges. Vieira to Henri. On by Toure. Youngberg coming in off his flank. Outnumbered. Him to Carsley. Radzinski. Just couldn't quite keep the ball in, but both Radzinski and Campbell have run in behind Arsenal. Stretch them, threaten to undo them. He is such a thoughtful coach. Siegel. And back by Thomas Gramerson. Give it to Lee Tim. Squeezed in towards Campbell. 
good defending from Seagull, good use of the ball too. Henri into the path of Youngberg, high quality football from both teams. Vieira. We had just stumbled. Threatened to let Canu in behind him. On by Carsley. Seagull with some defending to do, Seaman with some clearing to do. for Heston see with Henri in the vicinity Richard Wright left it to David Weir to deal with Canu Weir's challenge Touré okay Radzinski and Lauren was able to clear. This is Kolo Turi. Which run past both Ellsworth and Pembridge. And out into open ground. Turi's cross. Cut out by Weir. Murray and Canu were waiting. Canu's first run in the Arsenal first team since December last year. Started uh, five of the last six matches now. And his bird camp currently injured. Offside. The taker of the throw was just beyond the last defender. Employment for Campbell and Co. Everton keeping them busy. Pembridge. Hibbert. Just a lot of Carsley. Seaman's left arm just diverting it over the target. Graveson with the corner. Cut out at the near post by Gilberto. Everton will have another. Some furrowed brows inside the Arsenal penalty area.
Gravison again. He wasn't trying to score at the far post, was he? <laughs> well, he can see the funny side of it. This one in last Wednesday. presence put Jungberg off the keeper didn't actually get to the ball in contact with Jungberg after the ball had gone Gravison that's a stunning pass towards Brazinski studied and stunning Will Campbell let it run believing it was for somebody else Vieira playing a 1-2 off Gravison which is cute by Toure, way by Yoba. <laughs> Hibbert. Marvellous football match. Full of dash and energy, but some good play too. Inevitably the odd error, the pace at which he's being played. We're guilty of the body check. First yellow card offence of the afternoon. <laughs> David Weir, interesting actually, is playing today in defiance of a FIFA ruling that players should now serve a suspension in the game after the one in which they were red carded he was sent off at Old Trafford 12 days ago but the FA are insisting that their fortnight's grace remain in place and he will miss next weekend's game at West Ham now free kick's been given against Cano and again his own back on Weir Now he crosses, now it's Carsley with the header. Well, there's a menace about Everton. They come forward with speed and purpose. They do get a lot of crosses into the box. Carsley on the end of that one. Arsenal can counter, Jungberg. Hibbert got back to him. And again. Lee Tip. Campbell looking to get in front of Seagull and then looking to get behind him, couldn't do either. Toure. Henri. Almost like a sprinter looking over his shoulder for the baton there. Henri was on his way, but Yobo intervened. How many goals Henri would score if he didn't take the corners? So was Vieira just diverted from his path for a throw in? Warren will take. Vieira. Yogo up in front of Bright. Unsworth has to deal with it. And deals with it at the expense of a corner kick to Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. 
Arsenal have won their last eight games. Chelsea were the last team to live with them seven weeks ago. Henri's corner away by Lee Tier, but then hit by Toure and hit by Gilberto. One back by Gilberto under pressure from Lee Tier. It is, in fact, an Everton throw after all that. But there were a couple of sights of goal. Snapshots, no more. I don't know how good Lee Tier's English is. It's improving, but not enough to uh, chew the fat with his midfield teammates just yet. Campbell's header, Radzinski roughed up a little bit. So Campbell, though, survives the appeals. Henri, Youngberg, clever flick, support from Toure. Just the face of goal, it'll come for Ashley Cole. Hibbert slid in, goal kick given. Clever play by Freddie Youngberg there. Created the opening. Toure fired it across the face of goal. Hibbert was late on uh, Ashley Cole, the ball had gone when he hit him. He was committed. No appeal. Youngberg going down, Carsley just caught him. Hibbert to Litia. Resisting the attentions of Gilberto initially and then winning a free kick. He has been a fixture in the Arsenal midfield since the end of August. Gilberto, only four and a half million pounds, not bad for a World Cup winner. He has effectively replaced Gilles Grimondi in the uh, Arsenal squad. Probably an improvement. Weir is forward. Pembridge with the free kick. Campbell. Not quite full for Radzinski. It did for Cole to clear. A real curl on Pembridge's free kick. Graveson. Very precise pass to Carsley. A bit too much of Pembridge. But there's a, a width and a direction about Everton coming forward. They are stretching Arsenal. Thomas Radzinski. 
And at the break, it's Everton 1, Arsenal 1.
the next major record beckoning Arsenal is Nottingham Forest's 42 game unbeaten run in the top division still a dozen matches short of that and as any qualified Anorak will tell you that record of Brian Clough's team in the late 70s ended here on Merseyside at Anfield and Everton bright and breezy from the outset are threatening Arsenal's latest record attempt Jovo's header behind Cole from Radzinski. Sharp, clever play. Typical of Everton's today. In towards Campbell. Oh, couldn't quite deal with it. Come for David Unsworth. Crossed in towards Kevin Campbell. Went down under the pressure of a challenge from Gilberto. Not sure that he wasn't helped on his way there, Campbell. Although it's the way that he hit the ground which has caused the injury. Gilberto just ran into him him against Saul Campbell. Kevin Campbell in considerable pain. He's been injury free this season. And his form has really benefited from a full pre-season. his trade at Arsenal, it was Bruce Rioch who sold him to Nottingham Forest back in 1995, soon after Rioch took over at Highbury. It was a big fixture for Campbell, one that he doesn't want to walk out of at this stage. Saves. Sorry, David. Couldn't resist. Toure, Vieira takes over, he could have gone on, instead he slipped it to Jungberg! Well, they were queuing up to score there, Richard Wright came out to block out the line in front of Canu and Jungberg. Falling over each other to put Arsenal back in front. It was uh, Canu who actually won the race, or his long outstretched leg that got there ahead of Jungberg. Corner kick is the outcome. Seagull forward. Wandry's <laughs> corner. Young Burton scamper. Richard. Okay. It was an international action for Sweden uh, last weekend. Thomas Lindroth and Nicholas Alexanderson are both on the Everton bench today. Good play from Vieira. Canu riding the 
challenge from Lee Tier, getting his shot away, which is blocked by David Weir. Move kept alive by Laura. Toure. Henri, able to turn, sweep away from two defenders, Angel has got a foot on the ball. Vieira, back into Jungberg, good challenge by Hibbert and then by Weir. Gilberto, Everton defending manfully. This is Vieira. Now Lauren. Henri. And Tia got to him. It is difficult to get to Thierry Henry. It's difficult for Everton to clear their lines at the moment. It's coming back at them as quickly as they clear. But Pembridge tackles Vieira and Campbell can now run. Radzinski. Three to his right. Disappointing outcome. She'll better. Jovan didn't want to go back to his goalkeeper. Important challenge by David Unsworth in the midst of all that. Just about got his sole of his boot on the ball as Henri went tumbling. Campbell. Good pass for Henri. Toure. All isolated out here. So much energy about Letia's play. Toure standing his ground. Swinging arm there by David Unsworth. Free kick has gone Everton's way. Toure saw off Rodzinski and then Unsworth came crashing here right under the nose of the assistant. Uriah Rennie has refereed with an understanding today. And the game's a good one, partly as a result. Henri. Jungberg. Away by Carsley. More than away. Good pass to Pembridge. Campbell just couldn't quite link up with Graveson. Good cut to Arsenal. Canu. Henri. Away from Yobo. Change of gear from Henri just enabled him, enabling him to squeeze in across. Campbell's header. Rasinski. Ball from Sorkin. Challenged by Graveson, and then by Carsley, and now Campbell. Rasinski getting in behind Arsenal. Pembridge and Campbell for company. Away by Lauren. And as far as Lee Tier, blocked by Campbell. Chinese international didn't really get hold of his shot. Lauren can burst clear now and put Everton under pressure. Vieira making strides down the centre. Lauren was aware of it. Cleared by Weir. And now Arsenal have got men committed downfield. Unsworth. It's a little too hasty that time. Seagull to Canu. Lauren. Beautifully balanced contest. Tobias Lederoff has been little used by uh, David Moyes. Placing Lee Tier with 10 minutes of the second half gone. He is a current Swedish international. Lee Tier's replacement, Linderoff. Just a couple of substitute appearances this season back in August. Canu 
to Toure. He's a very athletic player, but Everton have been very energetic in their covering. The way that they've harassed the Arsenal player in possession constantly. Whether they can keep this press up throughout the 90 minutes remains to be seen. Here's Tobias Linderoff. Stepping into space and finding Mark Pembridge. Can't let it run. Seagull away. David Unsworth. Tossed back in towards Kevin Campbell. Tidied up by Cole. Clearance from Seaman. Hibbert's header on by Carsley, away by Seagull. Gilberto, Canu. Steed with the outside of Canu's foot, but intercepted by Unsworth, and now Lauren is out of the game and Pembridge can come forward. Vieira trying to fill in for the right back. Linderoff, Campbell, Radzinski on towards Gravis, a little back heel didn't quite come off. Carsley was beyond him. Hibbert though, resurrecting the move. But there's a bubble and a confidence about Everton. First and foremost, it's been a, a very concentrated and determined home team display, but they do believe in themselves. Gravison with a little touch here, which didn't quite unlock the Arsenal door. of fervour and verve about Everton. Free kick to Arsenal. Slipped into Henri. Well, there are times when he looks cool and times when he looks almost casual. And that was one of the latter. It was a really good chance for Thierry Henri. Set up by Lauren. And he just tried to stroke the ball past Richard Wright. And instead screwed it well wide of his post. That was a bad miss. Just showed it to Gilberto, then whipped it away from him, but Vieira got it back. Linderoff, Unsworth. This is Carsley. It's going to be tested here, but Hibbert managed to adjust. Divert a pass meant for the racing young Burke. And now gone. Henri. 
tackled by Hibbert. Weir. Campbell. Seaman stood up that time. Gravison will take the corner himself. Weir and Yobo are in there to make uses of themselves, but Henri is able to clear. Just have to wonder what the rush is to make a decision about the England goalkeeper. Next game's not till February. Campbell. And this is the man in possession. Where Arsenal are going, who's to say he won't still be in possession come the early part of next year? That's what he can do. There's a real presence about Joseph Yobo. Campbell, Arthur Ratzinski. His running really has worried Arsenal today. Cole got across to him, but then at the expense of a corner. This, Thomas Radzinski. Not just busy in his running, there's been a, a point and a purpose to it all in areas that have hurt Arsenal. Yobo and Weir are forward. Mark Pembridge, one of the midweek Welsh Dragons, takes the corner, Seaman punches and was fouled. This is his 900th career club appearance today. And I doubt that any of them will have been analysed quite as fully and as closely as this one. Sylvain <laughs> Wilson played a couple of internationals last week and was therefore Rested from the start today, but it's Colo Toure who he will replace. Figured in every game this season, Toure, but Wiltor, who's become a fixture in midfield, is back after uh, scoring the winner here in this fixture last February with a miss hit volley. Seagull. Nice interchange between Kelly and Youngberg. All ran out of play. Stumbling. Warren was coming back from an offside position. Time's 
stood still for a moment, but Pepperidge clear. Radzinski being manhandled by Campbell. Good advantage play. This is Kevin Campbell. Thomas Radzinski again. Just took his eye off the ball for a second. Carsey though into the path of Hibbert, scampering forward. Well, Sylvain Wiltor, who had only been on the field a matter of moments, waiting for his first touch, and here it came via Yobo's clearance. One to control, one to shoot, full against the post. Wiltor again. Now Youngberg. Henri is waiting in the centre. Dismay for the supporters who felt that Henri was in an offside position. We're cleared anyway. Wiltor making an immediate impact. Did Patrick Vieira have better afternoons for Arsenal? By his own ridiculously high standards. That's some poor points you better. Radzinski. Pembridge. And here's Carsley. Ball had gone out. In fact, he was offside, Carsley. Flag was up on the far side to indicate that, rather than the ball crossing the line. Well, he was level when Pembridge crossed, no doubt about that. Seaman couldn't reach it. The ball was still alive at this moment, but the flag was up. And you could say that Campbell would have reached it and Everton would have scored. for Youngberg, look at that, just lifted over Yobo, and then the bounce rather defeated Freddie Youngberg, but he did miss by much, ball almost spun, seemed to be actually heading goalwards there, but it was a little leg break, just brushed the wrong side of the netting, 100th Premiership appearance today for Freddie Youngberg, Campbell on towards Radzinski, Seagon couldn't clear, Kevin Campbell. Crashing challenge by Ashley Cole, gets the ball, corner kick. Still a quarter of the match for one of these two teams to win the match. Either could do it. It's a very, very close call. Cambridge takes. So does Seaman. Quickly out towards Sylvain Wiltor. He does have support in field. Company there in the shape of Anderson and Yoba. to come forward. Vieira. Just won't leave him alone. Ratinsky won't leave Seagull alone. Arsenal forced back again by that hunger that Everton have shown from the very first whistle. Henri with a clever run, putting away from Hibbert. Bursting past Hibbert. Safe catch by Richard Wright. Never a moment's pause in the game. On the searching pass from Graveson. Radzinski. Asking more questions of Arsenal. Linking up with Linderot. The team finished to another move of promise. whatsoever about Everton's approach today.
received more than £8 million from Arsenal for his signature. But he returns to his native Merseyside now, trying to beat the team that he once supported. We'll talk. Henri let it run. Youngberg bursting down the centre. Hibbert went with him. Shoulder to shoulder. Yes, says the referee. Youngberg's angry. He felt it was impeded. Fantastic Arsenal move. Will Tors pass left by Henri. Well, Hibbert just ran across and he did catch Youngberg slightly from behind. Difficult call. Critical call because Youngberg looked poised to score. First touch for Francis Jeffers. Trying to play Vieira in. Youngberg. Lofted in towards Henri. Bit of an arm lock there from Unsworth. Good old fashioned defending from uh, David Unsworth. You can see what. Arsene Wenger thinks about it. Was he holding on real or was it a bit of both? Okay. Let's see what Henri thinks. Campbell. Carsley. Youngberg was late. He says, play on. It's been a, a very liberal display of refereeing by Uri Reni. I think he's given this game a chance. I think it's been a good game as a result, but he's now on the borderline. Henri looking for Jeffers. Whistle does blow this time in Everton's favour. midfield against Italy at Cardiff. Let's see what he wants. Gravison is still an option. It is Pembridge. Bounced awkwardly in front of Seaman and picked up pace, but he held on. in an England capacity. The Arsenal reserve goalkeeper today is Rami Shaban, a Swede who's been drafted in recently. Seaman did miss 34 games through injury last season. <laughs> Jeff is going through on Hibbert, not catching him. That's terrific defending from Pascal Seagard, but now his arm has gone up and he is injured. going on with Seagon down. Now the referee drawing attention to the fact that uh, Seagon is in some distress. Did he get caught or was he just overstretching? Is it a strain or a bang? Gary Lewin, the uh, England physiotherapist, will quickly find out. Jeffers was ever really going to do any damage there. More instructions from David Moyes and indeed from Arsene Wenger, two of the most dedicated managers 
in the Premiership. First in, last out of the training ground, both of them. Seagull is going to be OK. scored in uh, both the France internationals he's played in the last week. Gilberto, Lindbrock catching up, Yobo clear, Vieira. Lindbrock's had a sound game since coming up. Unsworth quickly caught the mood of the Everton performance. Weir's header forward. Seagull away. Graveson. I thought about everything that Thomas Graveson has done for Everton today. Good pass to Pembridge. Radzinski lets it run through to Campbell. Now Linderot. This is Jova. Now Hibbert. short of his 17th birthday and the first professional contract I was going to say with his boyhood favourites he's still a boy flag is up for offside here Okay, cost 
Russell still had the ball. Henri. Oh, he just tried to nudge it into the path of Will Tour, but they weren't quite on the same wavelength for once. And here's Raverson surging forward now for Everton. Rooney. Campbell and Pembridge are forward too. Rooney taking on Lauren and winning the throw. Raverson winding up a long throw. of it. Unsworth's cross, flicked away by Vieira, only as far as Tony Hibbert. Headed by Campbell. Pembridge down. Linda Rock. Came off the head of Youngberg. Seaman claims. Almost put Cole in trouble. Instead Cole trying to create trouble for Everton. Gilberto on to Youngberg. Youngberg standing firm. Raverson behind you. And behind him is Ashley Cole. Youngberg getting it back from Hibbert. This is Henri. Cleared by Weir. Vieira. Linderon has won it. This is Rooney. Nothing much ahead of him other than red shirted Arsenal defenders. One of them, Kevin Campbell, Saul Campbell, holds his path. Rooney gets it back. Unsworth. Linderon. Pembridge. Campbell. Terrific pass. Carsley with some space. Three blue shirts in the centre. Hibbert to cross. Seagull, was that handball? No, the free kick has gone Arsenal's way. Gilberto went down, Gramerson pulled his shirt and owns up to it. Uh, just a little tug at Gilberto, which sent him spinning off balance. And it doesn't matter whether or not Seagull handled the ball deliberately. Jeff is unable to lay claim to the ball. Free kick has gone Everton's way. Two teenagers, the two youngsters, Jeffers and Rooney, trying to make their impact. The number Edu, the Brazilian who started the season in the team, now replace one of the men he's lost his place to, Frederick Youngberg, who started the season on the injured list. Still threatened on the counter. The only mystery in the match is how we've gone through this second half without a goal so far. Five minutes of it remaining. Will Tor takes. Header is by Gilberto, and that wasn't very far away either. Just guided it. The man on the post hit, but did jump. Poorly eluded the target.
said Arsenal a real poser today. Everton. A few tougher assignments for Arsene Wenger. They were two down at West Ham. They've been really shaken and stirred today. Linderop. way out of trouble. Vieira though has given it away to Hibbert. Obviously couldn't keep it in. Vieira striding through the challenges. And certainly Ural Rennie is uh, Allowing it to be a man's game, shall we say. A lot of pushing and shoving and grappling going on. Could call him fussy. Unsworth. Warren finding Schilberto. Henri. Will talk. Crossed in towards Jeffers, turned away by Weir. Vieira wins it back, Linderop found him. Hard coming out for the Everton substitute, Tobias Linderop. Did just lift his foot too. So to get a little bit of backspin for Will Tor, but he was outnumbered and couldn't catch up. And all the players who had poured forward to the far post can pour back. Gravison forward. Rooney, instant control. His chances. Oh, brilliant goal! A brilliant goal! Remember the name, Wayne Rooney. It's Premiership history. The big league's youngest ever goal scorer signals his arrival on the big stage with a breathtaking goal to end Arsenal's unbeaten run, surely in the final minute. The shot sensational. David Seaman's misery continues, but there was nothing that any goalkeeper could have done about that. Another Rooney record, and guess whose record he's broken? Michael Owen, that's who. Owen was the Premiership's youngest ever scorer. Rooney now is. Seaman shaking his head, wondering what he's done to deserve all this. But Rooney has given a marvellous game, a truly wonderful finish, unless Arsenal can dig even deeper into their locker Whoa. and come from behind again. Vieira, away by Unsworth, Juventus were the last team to beat them in Turin, seven months and 24 games ago. Newcastle United were the last English team to beat Arsenal a week before Christmas last year. are on the verge of doing just that. A defender for a midfield player as time ticks away. Alan Stubbs for Lee Carsley.
crossed in towards Vieira. Turned away by Stubbs immediately. Everton have contested every ball as if their lives depended upon it from the outside. They certainly will now. They tried to keep the pressure off Wayne Rooney. They tried to keep his names, his name out of the headlines as much as they can.